Little Grizz. Where's Gabe? What are you doing? I am fixing to give a how to put a stampede string in a hat 101. Oh, okay. Okay. And you start off with a stampede string. Okay, now this is one of our hand twisted stampede strings. Yes. So this is not one that just clips up in the under the sweatband like um off the shelf purchased one. No, no. And what you want to do is get in front of your Ooh, you say oh baby. <laughs> and Mwah. Huh? Mwah. <laughs> and then you wanna Okay, let's see what you're doing. I'm marking in front of my ears. Okay. Well, turn, because I'm seeing your hand. Okay. Just kind of touch it again where you are. Well, you're going to have to look in the mirror and get your spot and then turn to me, because I can't. Okay. Okay. Right in front of your ears. Uh -huh. Okay. We got that part. Mm-hmm. Now, and do we go get a kitchen knife and cut a hole? <laughs> you could do that. You could. Because well, what would happen if you did that? Uh, what, it, what you don't want to do is cut the fibers. Okay. And and you also want, now, you, I made some marks out, but I moved it in. Plus. Now, I'm assuming this is one of your well-worn hats. Oh, it's a new one. Oh, it may be me. It may be his one. <laughs> <laughs> mm. No, all I had, my other hat was a derby. I didn't want to. <laughs> Put a string on that. Yeah, okay. But anyway, you want to, okay, what you want to do. Yeah. Make your mark. I like to stay in close to the sweatband. Uh-huh. And this is what you use. Ice pick works beautiful. Okay, if you don't have an ice pick, what are some other options? A nail. Okay. A nail, something. Uh, so something just, just that has a, a good point on uh -huh. it. And what you no do, blade to it. No. Okay. Because if you cut them fibers... Your string, certain situations, if it blows off your head and it catches, it will actually tear the fibers. Okay. Yeah. But so, if it is spread with that, mm -hmm. it, it doesn't. You. Okay. Right. Pick it in there. Now we're going to zoom in here. Now, I see Please. you rolling it around. What is the purpose of that? Widen the hole. Okay. And, and like you said, this can be done with a nail or an ice pick mm -hmm. or... Yeah, you're just spreading the fibers apart. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, is this going to cause, when it, when you're, when the, when it's raining, is it going to cause it to leak in on top of your ears? It's in front of your ears. Is that, what is that? Well, I've had a lot of people ask that question. Actually, I have. If you're out in the rain, <laughs> it could leak. I guess it could seep through. I mean, but the string is going to be through that hole, correct? Right, right, exactly. You'll see it when I get through with it. Like I say, it, but finally, the time it seeps through, you got other problems. <laughs> like being wet. <laughs> From the wind blowing. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the least of your worries. Okay, see now, I punched through from the bottom. Uh-huh. And you see where they come out at. Yes. Okay. And then... Now you go back from the top side. Uh -huh. And that's just to widen it further, uh -huh. correct? Uh -huh. Now, what if someone says, Oh, wait a minute, I got too big of a nail, or I got the hole too big. Does it... Will it kind of... Can you work it closed? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So you can close it back you know, up. That's the beauty of this. Yeah, you can... Uh, So if you just sat there and rubbed on it, you would just close that fiber back oh, up. Yeah, you can mash it. See? Yep. Because you're spreading the fiber mm -hmm. in a felt. You ain't making a hole. You ain't cutting a hole. You're making a hole but not cutting a hole. And then then you're ready. I'm just opening it back up again.
Don't go there. <laughs> Sorry. All right. And then, uh, I had a stampede of stampedes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so much for that. All right. And then, you slide this, you slide her off. Okay. Okay. Now, if somebody has some special bead that they want to change and not use the wooden bead, is there any problem with changing to a different bead? Mm -mm. As long as it slides. You know, slide, yeah, it so it just has good. to have a large center. Okay, and then you go around the hat, which I should have had this because I have one. Well, when they get it in the mail, it may be wrapped up like that if they order it separately. Being the fact that it's hand twisted, it does twist on itself. Yeah. But that's not a. Now this might be long enough. You you'll, you'll see it when I get through with it. Mm -hmm. And what you want to do? So you're just kind of twisting it tight on itself, and then mm -hmm. put it through the hole. And see, all right, that fiber come loose. You seen that? Yes. All right. Actually, I need to zoom and in here. You need enough. I mean, that is all you do is just twist it back up a little tighter. And your hole, you know, you might have to. In order to back out. So see folks, this is what happens sometimes. Sometimes it takes it a minute to get it get it worked through. I got a trick for this, but uh huh. It's called scissors. There. <coughs> and Now, what I'm going to do now is something that needs to be shown, too. Okay. Bring it right here. Though. I'm just going to walk all the way around. All right. Well, now, this is next. Watch, it, watch this. Okay. So you just kind of melted the end mm -hmm. down a little bit, mm -hmm. that wax on it. Mm-hmm. We will get it. <laughs> Folks, I've never seen him have a problem doing this. Uh, it's this because we're like filming it. Parts of our job. Like it's this, because we're filming it. This usually takes like five minutes. 
Oh, it takes longer than that. Well, you won't be to close the hole back. Because I've done a very good job of it. <laughs> but then you opened it right back up several times. <laughs> oh, it's the yeah. curse of filming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you want me to mess up, put me on camera. Okay. Back See, folks, that's normally what happens the first instant, but that goes always, to show you that it always. can happen like that. Now, do you just run it halfway around, or do you run it all the way around the crown of the hat? I run it all the way around. And you, if you, you, sometimes you run it around like twice, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I said, if it's a long, real long, sometimes they come out long. Uh huh. Oh, I'll do three times. We'll, we'll see what this one's going to do. But I'm on. We're filming it, so don't care what's going on. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Sorry about that jumping around. I could not help that laugh. <laughs> yeah, no care what's going to happen now. I'm like... Now, we're making this video for everybody that buys them separately, but especially for one of our dear customers. Oh, this goes to Carl. And what? You mean the... Yeah, we already sent him the stampede string. Um, cause he's got a special hike coming up. Now, Carl has just finished his sixth round of chemo. Okay. See, uh, it's made And wrong. he's going on a hike. Okay. It's made wrong? No, long. 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 Okay. Okay. Now, that's the reason for that is what we do if somebody's just ordering a stampede string. It's, you can probably... If you want it real short, you probably we can make another loop. Yeah. Why don't you show that? Just show how it would yeah, how I you am. would do it. Just pull it out a little longer and wrap it a second time. Get that? Yes, I did. Okay. See now, now it's got three wraps at the front. Yes. But that's you know now. And it looks quite nice. It's short now. Uh huh. But and you you can move this around like uh, this one a little longer, you know. Oh, you mean adjust it from one side yeah. to the, adjust mm -hmm. it around where you have the same length. Mm -hmm. So you can adjust it, or you could just cut it off. You know, whichever you want. If you're doing it with just two wraps and you have lots of extra, well, there you go. See, now I got way too short. Okay, <laughs> you got the idea, right? All right, now I'm going. Wait a minute. This is just the stampede string from hell. <laughs> <laughs> Look, then you go back. Oh, around. I can't even hold the camera still. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's. Now, okay, now what do you do? Take the... <laughs> you stop mentioning at first. But, hey, I'm on camera. Okay, this is really not too short. I mean, I, I to me, this is right. Uh -huh. All right, now what we do then... Now you have to work both of those at the same time through the bead. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. And they would... Oh, and it just went in beautifully. That's the hard part normally, folks. <laughs> now, what do you do to keep the bead from falling off? Okay. Now, if I was sent to somebody, but I, they they would be doing it. I make a. I mean, that, now this is where you're talking about trimming it. Uh huh. You know, you look at it. And... So you, but you put a knot on each end mm -hmm. to keep it from unfraying as well as mm -hmm. to keep the bead on. And I would make, I'd put two in there. Yeah, I'll put a full knot, mm -hmm. not just a half knot. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, now you're tightening them down. I'm yeah. I'll leave it on this hat, shouldn't I? Yeah. Okay. All right, I'll tighten it down. Yeah. Yeah, after all that work, I'd leave it on. <laughs> this will be your fishing hat now. <laughs> but anyway, just snip it off. And then, sir. There you go.
the hard version of putting the stem. <laughs> yeah. Now, how do you just show them sliding the bead up to you? Do you slide it all the way up if the wind's blowing tight? Hard. Yeah, but now, the biggest majority of the time you sort of hang it. Okay, yeah, you know, let it hang down your back. Me working, I mean, especially uh -huh. me, it gets in my way. Uh -huh. so, but now, like I said, of course, now when the wind's blowing, Okay. Now, you can cinch it to the back of your head if you wrote, reach around behind you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and mm -hmm. just have it a little firmer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, very well, the way the wind's been blowing up here, you need one. Uh, yeah. But, okay, well. Well, all I can say is, bye. <laughs>